This is TYT's 2 watt UHF radio. It is typically programmed with FRS channels and is an alternative to FRS bubble pack radios that are locked on frequencies This because this one has the advantage of being able to program it with a standard prolific cable that is the same as used for the Baofeng, Wushan and so on style of radios. Some of the features on this radio in addition to the programmability are the fact that, and this is probably the best one, the antenna can be removed and then it can have an aftermarket tri-band high gain antenna which greatly increases the range of this which you'll see later on in this video. Besides that you can activate a flashlight on the top. You can monitor squelch, you can open the squelch circuit. It can be charged with a drop-in charger or it can be charged via a USB micro USB port on the bottom <coughs> and one of the things I like to do is utilize my quick magnetic charge option. This is the standard uh, magnetic cable that you might have for your phone already and with those you just clip them on and the radio begins charging. As I said that's optional if you want to go with a magnetic USB cable. Why do we call this the tail gunner package? Tail gunner is your backup apprentice guide or someone you are mentoring if you're guiding or in your ski group the someone that brings up the rear to make sure people don't go out of bounds they communicate with the guide or the leader who is in my case I would be using this radio the tail gunner in my case would be She Who Must Be Obeyed, whose picture is in the intro screens. And also, I might be skiing with my wingman, who in this case might be Ron Tessalini, who you'll also see in the rollover credits at the end. So, with this radio, I put it onto my own personal zone. 13. And you can see here the zone name on the bottom, which is me, and I have in the A band my frequency that I use when we're tree skiing below an avalanche zone and then I have in the B band an FRS frequency which my tail gunner is also carrying. My wingman has got the same radio and he is on A band. He can use that in order to find me if I fall into a tree well and cannot achieve comms. He can query this radio from his, get my GPS coordinates and then come and dig me out. In the meantime the tail gunner is the lookout up above who can watch the avalanche slope and see if any activity dictates that Ron needs to bail and sacrifice me in that case. Before I get started I must need to address my antenna selections as you recall this is a dual band radio that can do both VHF and UHF and this is UHF only. I have now chosen the stock antenna because my tail gunner is going to be less than a kilometer away at all times during the day when we're skiing together. I had this VHF antenna on my radio which is inappropriate for communicating on both VHF and UHF frequencies so I'm going to place a Smiley 270A also on my dual band radio which will now allow me to communicate on VHF with my tree ski channel on A and as well as this FRS channel with my tail gunner radio on B. And I have two options. Again, I would go back and as you'll see again in the Google Earth video coming up, this antenna will get me out to uh, around three kilometers more or less. This will more than double that range. So this is the antenna selection I would be using for this scenario. So here's an overview of the maximum distance I was able to obtain in this terrain using the short stubby stock antenna on the TC568. At this location I hopped on my bike 
and the UV390 was here. She who must be obeyed waited while I rode over to this location beside the wastewater treatment plant near the Bount Springs Fairmont golf course. And that distance you can see here is about 3.6 kilometers. Then what I did, I took the TC568 with the Smiley 270A antenna. I also had the stock antenna and I started at this location and probably somewhere around in this area I started losing the ability to find comms with my base. Regained them with the 270A and got out to about here and I was getting a signal of about 3x3 three three at this point. So it's the equivalent of doubling if not more the ability to achieve comms by putting an aftermarket antenna on the TC568 which in this case was the Smiley collapsible tri-band 270A with an SMA female base on it. So how does this work when I'm skiing with two other individuals? The tail gunner is going to be taking this radio in this case she who must be obeyed will have this and my wingman Ron is going to have another one of these and he's going to be monitoring me on the tree skiing channel which is a frequency that I've chosen that I know will not interfere with other channels locally and it's also programmed as a digital channel which will enable the GPS functionality in the radios and Ron can query this radio and get my GPS coordinates of course Sharon cannot with this radio now to communicate with Ron I'm on A I will hit the push to talk and we can talk if Sharon needs to call me from this radio I will receive that comms on channel B but if I hit the push to talk I won't be talking to her if I want to call her I then toggle down 24. to B and then I make, make the call which comes in on there 13 so again that's why we call that the tail gunner package because that person ostensibly will not need to be calling out on a repeater on VHF for help because if I get buried in an avalanche my wingman will not be in the same location as me at any given time he will be the one that is calling out for help so do not picture the tail gunner as being a backup safety source at a minimum your tail gunner will then be carrying the GPS communicator such as a spot or an inreach for 911 activations because they won't be able to call for help on this unless they're talking to someone locally in the valley bottom that also has the ability to summon help so if you only have two people skiing then you're going to need two of these radios so that the person who's not buried can call for help <music>
just really... This is Ron Tessalini. Um, Mr. <laughs> Tessalini, would you like to explain what you're doing right now? God only knows. <laughs> trying to have a shower. We're taking water from Bryant Creek. We've never done this before. Larry Gilmore. Over 60 years of combined experience between these two gentlemen, and they've never done it before. Change.